he's tall and <laughs> he's gonna exercise for the both of us. Some days I just don't feel like working out and today is definitely one of those days. We just got back from traveling so I'm out of my routine. Maybe didn't eat the same, actually not maybe, I definitely didn't eat the same. And I didn't get to kind of work out as much as I normally do on that really big, or that schedule. And so when I get out of that schedule, it's harder to get back onto the schedule. But I know that I need to. So Milo came to the gym with me, Patrick came to the gym with me for some little bit of moral support. So we're gonna get back on track. What I've learned is after I travel or after I've bet off my routine, the most important thing is to not jump into a crazy hard, super intense workout because a lot of times it leaves me feeling not even worse, but definitely a little bit discouraged and it doesn't kind of snap me back into it or make me excited about working out. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do some light touches. So I'm going to start on the echo bike, get my heart rate up, nothing too crazy intense, just a few intervals. Then we're gonna go into some really moderate lifting on snatching and clean and jerking, just focusing on technique, getting some touches on the barbell, building my confidence back up. Then we've got a longer workout with quite a few different movements that's gonna just be a steady range. So that steady range isn't gonna take me up into the red zone, but I'm also working hard, so I'm kinda of getting back into it. It's got a little bit of pushing, pulling, running, all sorts of things. And then finally, we're just gonna end with an EMOM of again, some more movements and just getting some touches. One of those movements is gonna be a GHD sit up because I'm starting to work those back in since the season's coming around the corner. And then also rowing and some sandbag cleans because sandbags are just really great for overall strength, stability, movement, everything like that. So it's not a crazy long day. We'll spend about 90 minutes here today. And we're gonna share that with you. Just getting ready, getting back into it after we have been on the road. Those lights, camera action when I step into the limelight. Easily adapted to the high life. Dressed to impress like it's prime night. And when you live in top shelf, you know you gotta set the bar high. Had the same dreams since we was kids. Big gyms, big cars, bigger cribs. Never thought that it would happen just the way it did. Fast forward that now, it's just the way we live. That's good food and drinks. My mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. The room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink, you might just miss the whole thing. It's just a different way to move in the high life. So many different things to do in the high life. Let's go food and drinks, but what makes you think that this life's made for a king? So many different things to do in the high now it's girls, 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 I get dumb. The coop only sit two, but in the back I got four. Talking about this high life, I mean as high as it go. That's kites, planes, clouds, the bank accounts that I own. Funny thing, it all started from a pen and a poem. Whoever thought that this could pay off all of my student loans? About to throw a party, invite everybody I know. Let me send a fast text to everyone in my phone. That's good food and drinks, my mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. The room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink, you might funny how circumstances change perspective. I just got back from the same trip Christy was on, obviously. Having a broken foot, I don't have that same, that same feeling of not wanting to work out. I'm on the other end of that spectrum, being jealous that I don't get to work out. At least for right now, because I broke it and it's a small bone, I want to be really cautious for the first couple weeks that I don't make it worse. There's a chance of that small bone that you could have to get pens if it's not broken or fractured correctly in a way that it's going to heal on its own. So I want to do everything I can to ensure that there's going to be no pins or surgery happening with my foot. Which means for me, the first two weeks are going to be mostly upper body bodybuilding. That means bench press, curls, pull-ups, all those types of things where I'm not putting my foot in any sort of risk and making the situation worse. After those first couple weeks, I'll probably start implementing some banded hamstring curls, some banded quad raises, things like that, because I don't want to lose all the strength in my leg. Something else that I've got to ensure for myself is that my calorie intake does decrease. We typically are doing a fair amount of working out volume and just moving throughout the day. And in the beginning, my output has drastically, drastically decreased. So for me, that means that I'm doubling up on protein because I don't want to lose any lean muscle mass. I'm cutting way back on carbs because I'm not expending very much energy. So for me, what that looks like is a lot of leafy green salads with chicken and vegetables, cutting out the starchy carbs, and again, as much chicken. I'm still doing protein shakes, making sure that I keep that intake in the meantime. Anytime that we are sick or injured, though, it does seem to make us feel grateful for when we aren't sick or injured. And I think hopefully that that'll kind of rub off on Christy as well, where maybe the attitude or the mood doesn't feel like you really want to jump into a hard workout, but with the ability to do it, 
change your mindset. It's like, you know what, I can do it just because I don't want to doesn't mean that I'm not going to put forth that energy. And sometimes on the days that you don't want to, you just got to set it up and do it anyways. Silver, silver, line into the story. If you thought that I would turn and run, then y'all don't know me. May my fears rest in peace, cause that's a old me. Got this taste on my tongue, I crave the glory. Ah, gasoline in my veins, be the fuel through my pain. Oh, ah, as we rise, rise from the flames. Say the struggle reveals how you deal with the monster that's inside you. I don't buy into the luck. I put my faith and my trust in my team. Everything that we done been through. Ah, gasoline in my veins, be the fuel through my pain. Oh, ah, as we rise, rise from the flames. Heart of a lion, never say never. Cut like a diamond, shine. This video is brought to you by our friends at Eight Sleep. If you want to learn more about how you can unlock your potential and get the best night's sleep, check out the description below. Today I started with an echo bike piece that took about 18 minutes in each set, so I did three sets getting progressively harder. We'll drop that down below. Followed by some snatch work. Started lighter with some technique work into some heavy, moderately heavy doubles, like I told you guys, staying at 70 to 75%. Then I went into a power clean push jerk split jerk with the focus on the emphasis of the jerks today and my lockout and getting my head through. Again, building to moderately heavy, whatever that felt like for me. I didn't really go percentage based, just getting a little bit of weight on the bar. Followed by a nice even keel 18 minute AMRAP, just focusing on some skill work. So it was a 200 meter run into some snatches, run, handstand push up, run, toes to bar. We'll drop that below. Finished with a little bit more of an intensity, high intensity EMOM, where it was a muscle up into a burpee, sandbag over shoulder into a sandbag squat, ring muscle up into power snatch, snatch into a minute easy. And I really like pairing multiple movements at like a moderate set. So it's not a huge set, but it's not a small set. So I have to work hard and I have to think about it before I jump up. But that's pretty much what we're doing in competition. Finding those sets we can hold while we're fatigued. And so that's what that EMOM really mimicked. We will drop all of that below. It's pretty amazing. I think Pat touched on this earlier in the video is like how much of a difference your mindset makes. Like I was committed to doing this either way. I was coming in, I was gonna do it and either I could kind of just like sludge through it and just gotten it done and checked it off or I could realize how grateful I am to not be in his position and not be in a boot and actually get to do this. And that to me, I even looked at him and I was like, I'm so happy like just to hear you say that. It's kind of reframing, shifting your perspective and just realizing like how grateful you are for what you are able to do and what your body is able to do, whether you have a good or a bad day. Look at me. <laughs> oh, you're fine. That's okay. We literally don't care at all. Yeah. With that, we're getting ready to run some kid fit here at CFP. So kind of teaching our members are teaching their kids healthy habits from a young age, which is super awesome. But if you guys want to follow along with what I do or what our gym does on a daily basis for the IBEX 60 program, go ahead, click the link below, check out the description. We'll drop everything I did today. The open is just around the corner and we're getting excited. Don't forget, smash the like button, subscribe. If you have any questions about what I did or anything else you want to see, drop those in the comment. Have a great day. Keep believing, I'm stopping tonight They're talking crazy, control